What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your app downloads and your revenues. And today we're going to talk all about ASO and how do you really know if your ASO is performing up to par? Like you did all the optimization, you watch all the content on YouTube through App Masters, hopefully. You want to know, hey, what am I doing? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Should I hire a professional? So with me today, I've got David, let me try this. All right, here we go. <laughs> David Margvion, who is the head of ASO at Check ASO, Check ASO.io. You got to check out that tool. And we're going to talk, we're going to show off some of the features of the tool while kind of really answering how well your ASO is performing. But without further ado, David, welcome back. Yeah, that was a great introduction. <laughs> you pronounced my last name correctly, so that will, that was great. So hi, everybody. I'm very happy to be here with you guys and with you uh, the second time. So I remember the last time a few months ago. It was great, very interesting, valuable. I hope today will be the same. So I will try my best. David, I love your background. This guy is that real? Is that a fake virtual background? <laughs> no, it's real, real background yeah, from nice. our office. So yeah, it looks great. It Different look cool. flowers, magazines, and other stuff. I see a lot of comments. So leave in the comments where you guys are from. I see a lot of familiar names. So I'll get to you guys and give you a couple of different shout outs too. But David, let's kick it off and let's really talk about like all right, I've done all the ASO. I've watched a lot of the videos, hopefully through App Masters. How do I know if my ASO is performing really well? And how do, it's like fully optimized. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a very interesting and uh, big question. So, mm -hmm. of course, you should, first of all, you should track uh, metrics like impressions, intros, installs, retention, revenue, etc. And I think, I hope everybody do this way. But Another question is, uh, uh, what should I do with that? So I, I see that I have impressions. What should I do with that? How can I make it work better? Uh, what to improve? So it's a big question. And every day there is a lot of new um, researches, articles uh, related to ASO. Uh, but often there is uh, so much information and uh, people even don't know how, how to start uh, optimization and what steps to take. Uh, while iterating, doing different iterations. And many of them, many of our clients uh, want to have a clear um, scenarios uh, of actions, yeah? yeah? And uh, we realized this problem, so with our clients, and um, they also had a, a lack of uh, knowledge in an ASO field. Um, and so we tried to develop an ASO framework uh, which based on, first of all, on our indices. And I want to tell a few words about this framework, how to use it, uh, what is it about. So let me share my uh, screen. There you go. So do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, so um, now we have uh, four indices in our system. It's uh, ASO index. It shows the um, basic page optimization quality. Uh, the second one is search visibility index. It's about um, app visibility in terms of search traffic, everything which is related to keywords uh, from Google Play, Google Play and App Store, all organic installs from keywords. Uh, third one is browse visibility index. It's um, about visibility in browse and explore channels. So it's related to uh, top charts, uh, uh, related apps, uh, similar apps, and uh, different compilation of apps. So everything related, the browse and explore traffic. And the, the last one, it's um, performance index. It's a more global index, which uh, shows how effective you are accruing organic traffic in different countries. So first of all, it's easy to interpret data. Uh, we collect different data, analyze it, and show you in a familiar system, for example, from 1 to 10 or from uh, uh, 1 to 100. And it's also a source of insights. You can find a lot of uh, useful, valuable information, how to optimize. 
And uh, we also, of course, have a ready set tools on our platform, uh, which can help you to do your work. So let's take a look at this uh, table. Uh, here you can see all our indices and under every index, index you can see the what it analyzes. For example, ASO index analyzes the number of characters, uh, the number of screenshots, um, insults, update frequency, ad, etc., and mm -hmm. different application scenarios. So, how can you use it? For example, text optimization, comparative analysis, or maybe ASO audit. So, let's go further. And here is uh, the framework, indices framework. Um, let me explain how it works and what should you start with. So. As you can see here, performance index, it's the first, uh, first uh, step where you should start. And um, at this step, um, it's, um, it's necessary to analyze how things are going with uh, attracting traffic in each country. And if uh, your parameters are high, uh, then you should go to the list of your countries which are available and uh, where you actually are optimizing your metadata. And if there is um, no country to optimize, so congratulations, you are an ASO gut. But I assume that this case is uh, one in a million and we're not going to talk about this case uh, today and not going to review it. So uh, let's get uh, to a more real, uh, more real case. Mm. Uh, let's imagine that your performance index is not high not enough high. And in this case, there is uh, three scenarios that you can choose. First of all, ASO index. It's, uh, it's better to go first ASO index because it's more basic, more complex. And what you should do with uh, all these steps, you go for, with ASO index and here you can see different questions that you should answer. So if your uh, title index is less than nine, so you can see the uh, the first tip. So then you go to the all the tips and you can have here uh, answers, uh, different tips, how to improve your, um, your index, how to improve your metrics. And you can check all your indices, all your, um, all your numbers and get a lot of interesting information and work with your optimization using our tools or tool of any um, another platform as you want. So um, that's it for framework. If you are interested how to work, if you want more uh, information about this framework, uh, I was taking part and uh, three months ago at uh, a promotion summit and I have a great uh, video from that event on our YouTube channel. So you can go and check it if you want to get some more information about indices. Yeah, David, I would love a couple of questions from you. This is a great index here. Let me just show that right there. Will you make this available for us? I'm sure yeah, it's it's almost available for free. You can go check. Uh, soon we have we will have an, a big blog post on our blog at Chicaso okay. with all the stuff, all all the information uh, with this framework, with all the tips. So you can uh, go check our blog and. I think it will be available in maybe a week or two. Okay. I, I think. I hope. And I'll get that link, that YouTube link after we're done mm -hmm. recording. Yeah. I'll yeah. Add it to the YouTube description as well. But David, you know, one of the things that we want to talk about, and this is the title of the YouTube live stream, was the tiny ASO changes. So try to tease the audience. Can you give us one, just one, David? And I want to tease the rest of it later. But can you give us one tiny ASO change that we can make that would have a huge impact? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, of course, um, I can share um, one use, um, one case uh, that we made with, uh, with the app. Uh, the app is about the investing uh, tutorials for beginners. It's uh, app one of the biggest Russian banks, which uh, engage uh, downloads to the main app for investing after passing a tutor tutorial. So um, the when we start working with uh, the app, it was a Google Play. Uh, so we the app uh, was uh, engaging um, 
downloads only from branded keywords and nothing from generic. Mm. So we decided to test uh, the possibility of Google Play's uh, global indexation. So as you know, uh, Google Play algorithms um, index all your localization, all words from all localizations. So it doesn't matter in which con what country, what localization you use a text. So it will be indexed in different countries. So, um, well, we collected semantic core, made uh, different variations of uh, long description title, subtitle in Russian language, but uh, based it in different localization of uh, nearest countries, Russian nearest countries, post-Soviet countries, for example, uh, Ukraine, Latvia, Belarus, Armenia, uh, and so on. So we made different types of uh, text metadata in Russian and paste it in different localization. So it was it gave a huge impact on on ranking, on installs and everything. We re we reached uh, in top 1 to 5 by uh, 27 generic keywords and increased installs from search channel uh, by uh, 70%, 70, not 17. <laughs> so uh, 70. <laughs> yeah, 70. Uh, of course, the app was where uh, was a uh, high quality. Uh, there was no um, no crashes, zero crashes, zero ANR, um, average rating uh, four point nine, uh, a lot of positive reviews. But that gave um, a big impact. So I I recommend everyone to try this uh, this hack, uh, this tactic to work with your Google Play text metadata to get indexed by lots of keywords uh, to rank higher and to gain uh, downloads and that's it <laughs> so david let me, let me summarize just to make sure i got i got a full understanding of this you took the russian optimization you optimize i'm assuming the title the sub, the short description and the long description and then you then took that optimization and put it into nearby countries in the drop down on google play you kind of just pasted it make sure those countries also had that same Russian localization, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, when you go into the Google Play console, you can uh, choose any uh, locale and uh, write any text. So Google will warn you that, for example, if I want to use Russian language in the United States, Google is going to warn me that this is not the language of the United <laughs> States. But it's yeah. not a problem. You can anyway update your metadata. And if you are not targeting, for example, this app was only in Russia. So we uh, don't need to optimize this app for any country. Uh, the main the main area is Russia. So that's why we decided to do that because mm -hmm. we don't need all these countries. We need only the Russian market. So we try to make as many um, variations of Russian text and use it in different localization, which affect also uh, Russian rankings. So it's oh, all made for for affecting rankings and indexation in Russia because it's Russian language. Awesome. Okay. And the the neighboring localizations that you put it, you said Ukraine. They all speak Russian, right? So it's yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Did you did you put the local the Russian localization in any countries that did not speak Russian? <laughs> Curio out of yeah, curiosity. Maybe. So, but you can make this uh, with English language because. Um, I, I think in every country there are people who speak English, so that's why um, people from post-Soviet countries um, don't use any language uh, on their devices, not their their languages. They use Russian language, so that was mm -hmm. that was not a problem for us to use Russian language because everybody understands it. Hey, on that note, David, how important is keyword density in the long description? Did you anything you can share around that led to the seven T seven seven zero increase in in downloads anything that you did on a the text the long description and keyword density what can you share with that yeah nowadays um the aso is developing so you don't need uh, now to use a lot of keywords a lot of repeating of the same keyword only just try to make uh your text as as much possible interesting for google play algorithm so try to make it interesting for google First of all, so to do that, you can use the Google natural language, uh, which assigned you to a different, uh, um, I forgot the word, uh, different categories. Yeah, different categories. And 
And also, um, you should have the density of your keywords um, not higher than uh, 3% in, of whole text. So it doesn't matter how much mm -hmm. you repeat, it, it matters, the density matters, first of all, not the amount of, uh, of uh, the keywords that you repeat. So try to make it less than 3%, any keywords, and try to check all your, uh, all your text elements, especially full description with Google Natural Language. And if you, as you know, uh, Google Natural Language analyze uh, well only English language. So mm. there is a small hack, I think most of you guys know, but I will try to, uh, to repeat that. So if you want to check any other language, just take uh, your text, uh, paste it in Google Translator and to English language, of course, and then to Google Natural Language. As, as you know, uh, Google Place algorithms translate any um, any text elements in the, in any language, first of all, to English, and then he analyzes it. So you can do the same and try to work with uh, your metadata that way. Hey, David, so I actually have not ever used the Google Natural Language. Is that, is that just something in the Google Play Console and then is there a certain score that you want to go after? Uh, Google Natural Language? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a website where you can go and check your, it's, uh, everybody can do that. So it's free for everyone. Uh, you can go, if, if someone have problem with that, with that you can uh, write me in LinkedIn or Facebook and I will um, tell you how to use that and, and everything about that. So it's not a problem. It's very easy to use. And then are you aiming for a score? How does that work? I've never used it. Are you aiming for a good score? Or what, is, what is Google going to do? Uh, well, um, you're trying to make uh, the text as much. Um, so you're trying to make it uh, understandable for algorithms. And you give it to Google Play Natural Language. And he gives you back a score. And the highest score is one. So it's better to, to be higher than 0 0.8 and higher. So as much higher as possible, it will be better for indexation, for, um, for appearing in similar apps, so gaining uh, explore traffic of, um, also. So that way it works. Is this free or is this paid? It's free. It's free, yeah. OK. Well, I'll everyone. have to link it up. And I'll, I'm trying to figure it out on. <laughs> I was just Googling Google Natural Language and I couldn't find anything. I have Cloud Natural Language, Google Cloud. Yeah, yeah, Google Cloud Natural Language, yeah. Okay, all right. Is it here? Let me show you what, what I have right here. Is it yeah, this? Go, yeah, go under, under. And here is, yeah, try the API. So here, yeah, this one. You should paste here your text metadata. For example, you can copy. Yeah, I'll do it right here. These guys. Yeah. Let's try. This is one of the apps that we're going to look at later today. So just do this. And then, and then analyze. Sometimes it works not so fast <laughs> as it could be. Like all things. And plus, my internet at <laughs> this office is very, very slow. And, right, plus, well, uh, and plus me at Friday evening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, while that Google thing goes, I will say hi to a few people. Joe, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Rudy, good to see you. Rassi, how's it going? Patrick, Alexander, how's it going? Alina, good to see you. Uh, Joe is here, cool. Let's see, yeah, Master. Greetings from Brazil, cool. Araxima. All right, I'm gonna try all these. Bianca, how's it going? <laughs> Celtic Whispers, what's up? Are we rich yet? <laughs> Jared, hello, hello. And then to say the API is still going. And we got Sandish from Nepal. That's awesome. Nepal, that's great. First time I've seen Nepal. Nepal. <laughs> All, right. All right. David, how do you think you say this name? Alcides da Costa Linoneto. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, Alcides, how do you do? How do, you do? <laughs> Greetings from Brazil. Ciao, my friend. And then greetings from Bosnia. Wow, love this. Leandro's here. All right, this is still running. All right, so we'll let this run. And then once this comes back, I'll kind of come back to this. But this is a great one. We should do a tutorial on this. And just so you guys know, a little teaser, Dave and I will be doing a YouTube series all about how to 
jumpstart your app using ASO. And one of the things I'll save it for later, but David, want to get into our first app and we take, yeah, we'll take yeah, sure. Time. Let's go. Let's but go. You know, before we do that, we got to do a dad joke battle. All right. Oh, so guys, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I Whoever's have dad some joke, good jokes. <laughs> whoever's dad joke you like the best, put an S and a D and David, you and I, will be playing for a beer. Okay. Loser pays for beer <laughs> round of beers. All right. Yeah. Whenever we get back into person. So it might be in 2024, but I'm sure the winner will remember. How about that? David, you're the guest. You get to decide. You want to go first? You want to go second? No, no. I want to go second. Okay. You want to go for second. All right. I will go with this one. Here we go. I've got a condition which causes me to make terrible puns. It's a deadly disease. Boom. <laughs> Maybe I'm pounding this thing a little bit too hard and too soon. It's a bad <coughs> disease, David. All right. What's yours? Well, my joke is a little bit maybe not so 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 I, I don't know how to explain it. So let's let's uh, okay. let's hear that. I wish COVID-19 had to start in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, why? Because because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right. So put in the comments who won S for Steve and D for David to see who won. And then we've got a question here from Alcides. Is it possible to rank with zero downloads, fresh new app with very low or little or low budget? What do you think? Unfortunately, I want to say that um, it's not possible because um, uh, nowadays there are millions of apps uh lots of them doing a so lots of them uh using uh, um, paid ua channels and you won't get ranked high without um without this so aso is only the one part of global marketing strategy so the viral effect the marketing the different marketing strategies user acquisition aso only in general all whole all, all these things will work together but not mm -hmm. only ASO with zero download. So if your app is new, try to make um, your text metadata, first of all, uh, try to rank. Uh, then uh, maybe you should uh, you should attract some uh, paid users. Um, for example, Google Ads, Google Universal App Campaigns, because they are the cheapest one, or maybe Facebook Ads or Instagram Ads. So gain some uh, users. Um, they will leave you some comments. They will, and you also will see the your in internal metrics. For example, uh, retention, revenue, and uh, then you will uh, see how you can affect it and is it worth it. So maybe your app is not high quality, and you should. Uh, go go home and make it better, for example. So yeah. um, first of all, you should try to, to attract some users and check everything and try to decide what to do next. Okay. That's a great question. And I should have probably saved this for afterwards, but I, that leads me into, I'll say it is what I'm going to show and get David's thought on that because it is very true what David said. And I'll show you something later on with my own app as well. All right. Let's get into this app and this is, so we already did the, the natural language index. It's still running by the way, David, look at this. Well, <laughs> you can refresh the page. Maybe it will work. All right, let's try it. And then if it doesn't, <clears throat> so I guess I have to copy and paste again. Yeah. All right, let me copy and paste. Maybe it's this emojis. Does emojis mess it up at all? No. No, no. All right. it well, should gonna... work with emojis also. All right, I will let that run. So here is Moon. Moon Foxer says, launched the app nearly two months ago and probably when they submitted this might've been three months ago, but April 4th was the last date it was updated. They got a few thousand downloads because the website covered it, but now it's back to normal. How do I, what should I do to get more organic users? You wanna lead off, David? Mm, yep. So I made some notes for every app, so uh, not to forget to mention everything that I want to mention. <laughs> so um, it's a big plus that um, you are looking for a balance between keywords and uh, attractiveness of text uh, uh, that uh, grabs attention in a, from a marketing perspective. Mm. And uh, 
if it's possible, include at least a couple uh, additional relevant keywords uh, because uh, indexing by big amount of uh, re relevant keywords can bring you uh, new organic users, uh, new impressions. And uh, so also I saw that um, there was a word from, um, that was repeated in the title and subtitle yeah. and short description. So, um, I don't think you should do that. So just try to use maybe some another relevant keywords if you have flip right clock. Here. Yeah, we have. It's it's enough to use it only in uh, your title. That will be enough, mm -hmm. or maybe sometimes in your long description. So, oh, David. So let me ask you a question on that. If we have it in the title, we don't need it in the short description. Does it so, help at all? Um, as for our apps that we worked, it doesn't help. So we did um, okay. all the ways we try to put it uh, all together in title and subtitle, only in title, only subtitle, nothing changes. So I guess that it works this way. So, but you, you should try because Google Play's algorithms are very strange. You, you should try to test everything and you should test everything. One thing I also noticed is he, and I'm sure this is best practice. So David, please correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what we typically do. If we do have flip clock, stopwatch, timer, and what I noticed was flip clock was twice in the title and short title, short description, but nowhere to be found in the the long description. Yeah, you well, should I, at least have it in long description as well, right? I will tell um, later about long oh, okay. description. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to say um, one more thing. Um, one more important thing, and in a few months, new rules and guidelines will um, of Google Play come into force, which will yeah. uh, not allow losing uh, using the uh, words free and uh, everything which is representing uh, the price and the quality of apps. So try to make uh, another title and subtitle avoiding uh, the word free. Right. And also there will be only 30 characters in Google Play's title. So don't forget about that and make your new uh, metadata now. So that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> so what about description? A uh, yep. few words. Um, so as you know, it's uh, indexing by Google Play algorithms and its power is not uh, so strong as uh, title or short description, but mm -hmm. um, you have a, you should expand at least your uh, long description uh, to 1,500 characters and try to use your relevant keywords because now we see that it's quite short. So um, use relevant keywords, don't spam, and don't forget about density. Um, it's very important also. And, uh, and some more think of, of course, Google Natural Language if it will be working on your webs, on your <laughs> notebook. Yeah, if it will be working. Still slow. Don't forget to use uh, Google Natural Language. So first of all, I think uh, the problem, the main main thing you should do, is focus to on your full description because now it's not optimized at all. So it's my advice. Why did you say 1,005 characters? Why that? Why it's so specific and why that, that number of characters? Um, because uh, using this number of characters, you should use, uh, f for example, 10 keywords and repeat them two times and that will be enough. So if you, of course, if you have uh, 40, 40 keywords or 50 keywords and they are all relevant to your app, so you should make a, a long, long description uh, to, mm -hmm. to, to make a low density using all these keywords. But at, at, at usual, so people have uh, from 10 to 50 keywords, so that will be enough uh, not, not to make a very, very long description. So we okay. make about 100, 1,500, 2,000 characters. It's Got not it. small. Well, so I put it into this keyword density tool, their, their long description, and the density looks like clock for one word phrases is 8%. Is there a per density percentage that we want to be at at all? Uh, it's very high, so uh, because uh, the long description is very short, so that's yeah. why uh, the density of of the clock word clock is so very high. Do you want to be around this under five percent? Is that where we want to be under? Yeah, yeah, under. Uh, I want to say that under three, maybe three percent under. Okay, so you do want to at least rep 
repeat it twice, but you don't want it too yeah. spammy because then Google knows and they're not gonna they're not gonna allow you to do that. So right here, this is once maybe put stops stopwatch timer another time to keep density and then clock face might be another one. Uh, so but, um uh, I also want to go to the platform and show the visibility of the app. If you don't yeah, know. let's do it. You want you want to share yeah. your screen or I have yeah, the app yeah. too. I can share my screen. Okay, go for it. Right. Uh, Let me so, know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. So no, I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not ready. That's why. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. So here is uh, the ASO overview in our platform. Here you can see everything related your keywords. I only see your presentation, David. I'm not seeing the Oh, oh, oh sorry. And, and now? Whoops. You're, I don't, you have to share your screen again. Let, uh, so, um, yeah, let's try to do this. Alicades, uh, that's your something I'll go with. Alcides, I understood, I understood that first David's tip is something like the MS MX trick. Not sure what that means on Sunday. Yeah. Mm, no, okay. it's uh, USMX trick. It's about App Store, not Google Play. Yeah, it's it's App Store. Okay. So now, yeah, that yep. should okay. be work. Boom. So here, here is um, everything about your indexation, your keywords, your visibility. So uh, here you can see that the visibility in United States of the of this app is twenty two percent only, and mm -hmm. average in tools is uh, 74 percent and we see that there is only 93 keywords that the app is indexed by and only one keyword in top two five uh, so i want to say mm -hmm. that uh, the visibility in general of course is very poor and for example the app is not indexed for keywords uh, relevant keywords uh, such as um uh, stopwatch, clock widget, time widget, and etc. There, there are a lot of keywords that are relevant, and uh, the app is not indexed by them. So, and one more thing, I want to say uh, that um, uh, you should first of all try to focus on not on um, high frequency keywords, but use uh, low frequency, mid frequency, long tail keywords because you have a new app. It, it doesn't have a weight in Google Play, so try to start from the, from the bottom. So try to use your low frequency keywords, long tail keywords, and when you get ranked by them, when you get ranked higher, so you can add another keywords uh, more popular, and uh, that's how it works. Yeah, I like it. All right, David. So you can stop my screen if you want. <laughs> Okay, let's go into this one. So let's go into the app really quick. Let me check on the time. Uh, we'll go in, we'll go quickly into the app. How about that? Okay, we've we covered a lot on the ASO side. So let me <laughs> let me do this. Boom. All right, Moon, cool name by the way. Let's get into your app real quick. Clock face, swipe left or right to change the look settings, and long press to show menu. Okay. So oh, okay. I want to say that the onboarding is so perfect. It's it's very uh, simple and very understandable, ve very mm -hmm. clear. I love the interface of the app. It's very, um, very nice. And um, I love this app. I think everything is okay. So you should focus on your promotion because your app is really good. So I also download uh, some different um, apps, uh, like uh, like yours, so different apps uh, with clocks, uh, which have a lot, a lot of downloads, but your app is better. So I also like <laughs> like the uh, paywall. It's It looks great. Everything looks great, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one thing I would add, Moon, is I love the clean interface, but I think it's also hampering you a little bit. I think in the top right corner right here, you can add the little crown symbol, right? Because... Mm -hmm. I think one of the things that we've shared in the past is, you know, 85% of your in-app purchases are going to come from the welcome flow, which is number one, which is essentially what you did with the menu, right? After you showed the little <laughs> tip, show this pricing page. That's where most of the percentage of 
the conversions are going to come. Look, they can X out if they want. And then also the number two spot is this main page. And so just a little button right here that tells people, hey, you know, there is a premium option is good to know because how many people are coming in here? The other thing I would say is on this page, I do love this, but I think what I would do is this upgrade button is so tiny, right? Yeah, yeah. So do that and then 20% off, 20% off what? So like maybe one of the limited time offer would be show a high price, $9.99 and just say, look, for a limited time only, $2.99, right? And I think that would be interesting to do because we're all you know we're all humans we're all emotional and so when you show this limited time offer and you're showing limited time offer and you show a higher price point in 299 we feel like it's a deal and it would have worked great if i saw this during the welcome flow so i think that will help your conversions too yeah great okay. tips yes. i'm not an expert in in-app monetization so <laughs> Yeah, that's that was valuable. Your tips were valuable. Ah, well, thank you. Okay, let me get into some next. of this next stuff. All right, I want to say hi to a few people. Elsmar from Bosnia. Okay, I already said that. Leandro is here. His uh, <coughs> got star projectors. Joe says, "Y'all see drinking games is now a saturated market on the App Store." What do you think? Y'all see drinking game is now a certain no <laughs> no no. <laughs> Uh, Maybe. I, I don't i don't i don't use drinking games unfortunately so yeah i don't drink only water really i don't i stopped drinking <laughs> too all right joe or tor how's it going brother and then we got parishing me sorry i'm gonna screw up that name hello from moscow go ahead david isa aliyev hi Aliyev. Isa. Right. Aliyev. yeah david you won d d <laughs> d all right <laughs> What's I have happening? two more, two more jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Dan says, how to properly test the graphics for seasonal ASO. So if you start testing too early before the holiday, can it ne negatively affect the validity of the results? So first of all, you should, if you have enough traffic on your app, you can make tests in a week, for example. Yeah. If you, if you don't have enough traffic, so you can use uh, different sources, for example, on Sprint Matrix, Storm Maven, and so on. But uh, you can also take a look at your competitors. How did they optimize their metadata uh, last year? For example, you should go. You can go to to our platform and see the metadata of all your competitors um, from any day, from uh, any holiday, and check it. And maybe take a look and try to find some some ideas uh, and what to use in your metadata and this way you can uh, update your metadata without testing if you don't have uh, money or if you don't have uh, traffic for testing so it's it's uh, it's important i think all right hey david one of the things i wanted to really get into is one of the questions i get asked all the time and i'm going to show off i've got a video for you guys that is that shows off check ASO and some of the new tools and the functionality, but they have this new thing called this in apps. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, but it shows you the in app purchases that are indexed by any of one, your app and any of your competitors. And so I was doing zero and then guess what David, this one, I think this one has it. Let me try refreshing a little bit, but on that note, I was trying to find an example, a good example of a, an app that has their in-app purchases index. So let's see if this is one of them. Um, I can share my screen. I have a VACO app and it has in-apps. So you Okay, can... cool. Let's, maybe you should share your screen. But if yeah. you guys have seen it within the app stores, certain <laughs> apps, in-app purchases, so you'll see their app and then right below it will be in-app purchases. David, how does that happen? How does that work? What is? How do we get our in-app purchases index here and i'll show you there it is right there so well if you have in-app purchases you can make them um promote it just uh, you should just um, um make a screenshot icon this icon make a description mm -hmm. and uh, the title and the description of your in-app and after that it will appear in search result if you use uh, uh keywords uh, 
re relevant keywords, keywords of your app, so it can can appear under your app in search result. So that's why you can protect your conversion rate if you are, for example, on first position <coughs> uh, by keyword. So the user can see only your app and under your in-app. So that's why he won't see uh, any apps, of course, without scrolling. He won't see uh, your competitor's app. He will see only your app and your competitor and your in-app. So that's why you can optimize it. And also you can gain um, views because if uh, a user find your in-app in search result and he can tap uh, your in-app and then he go to your uh, app page of, of the main page or, or main app page. So uh, that's why you can gain more views, more installs. And our tool allows you to work with uh, in-app optimization to find keywords that your in-apps are indexed by. Here you can see different keywords that uh, yeah. VSCO hey, David, apps. Can you slow down and just show us what some of those keywords? And I'll show it into the, I'll show my phone so people can see it. So too. maybe um, here, the main keywords or uh, I will try to find. Uh, yeah, try to find a generic solo. one because I would think that would be this, cooler. For example, okay, let's let's take a look. We can. For example, no, it's eighty-two position. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. I got one. Keywords. I got one for you. Yeah. Here. All right. So. Okay. Let me let me share my screen. So this is this is where I found out with using the Check ASO tool as well. So I search, I googled fasting. Congratulations, zero. They're number one, and <laughs> it's, so good job on them. They're they're beating Fastic, which is pretty optimized for Fastic. But if you look at now Life, which is was the app that I tried to put in to Check ASO as well, this in app purchase. So they got their intermittent fasting Life for intermittent fasting, and then here's how they've been able to show up their subscription into the app store. So now they're, mm -hmm. they've got double the, the coverage. So if you want to go, if you want to know more information about uh, in-apps and how to optimize them and real cases, you can go and check our blog. We have a blog post uh, about in-apps and how to work with them. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll link that up into the, the show notes as well. And I'll try to find it as we talk. All right, let me mm -hmm. see if there's any questions in here. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anybody's question. Okay, cool. All right, David, ready for round two? Yeah, let's go. All right, I got to come back. Let's make it interesting, all right? Let's make it interesting. All right, you want to go first or you want me to go first? No, no, you go first. All right, let's see. This is why I'm, I'm going to always lose. No, I'm just kidding. All right, what's the difference between Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai? <laughs> Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> that was a bad <laughs> delivery. Okay, hopefully <laughs> Abu Dhabi do. Get it? Okay, <clears throat> Flintstones. Um, Go ahead, David. Great. <laughs> uh, well, what is Forrest Gump's Facebook password? What is Forrest Gump's favorite? Or Facebook, Facebook password. Facebook's password, yeah. I have no idea. One forest one. <laughs> one forest one. There you go. All right. Look, I might have lost. I might have just been swept. So put in the comments D or S, whoever you like better, and then we'll get into we'll go quick on the next two. Make yeah. sure we're good. August asked organic search ranking. So that's what August was saying. Let's see. Here's Oops, this is David's screen. Yeah, my screen. Here's the money tracker. So here's August's app. All right, August. The so I've got a lot of things to say on this already, but David, you're yeah. the guest. Go ahead and lead it off. Um, well, first of all, of course, I will say about ASO. So yeah. um, uh, let me take a look at my notes. Uh, well, um, the title uh, almost maximum number of characters. That's good, but um, so. Use meet a low frequency keywords because the app is new, so that's why you want ranked high by the word finance, for example. So it's uh, it's more likely to rank with uh, uh, by mid frequency, low frequency, frequency keywords. So yeah. also go and check uh, the 30 symbol 
um, bug in short description subtitle in, in App Store because sometimes the last character is not indexed, so the last word won't be indexed because uh, because of that. So it's better to check uh, the last word uh, if it's indexed because uh, I see here the last word is income and mm -hmm. I have, uh, for example, keyword income tracker that app is not indexed by. So that's why you should go and check it. Uh, one more thing about, as usual, Spanish uh, Mexico locale, and now you use uh, Spanish keywords, but if you are not targeting uh, Mexico, so I think it's better to start with English words because the audience uh, in United States is much more bigger and there mm -hmm. are lots of people who can use that. And um, as for me, uh, I recommend you to start with English words then after that. Or maybe you can use uh, uh, Spanish words in your keyword field and in title and subtitle use English keywords. So that uh, will affect your US rankings. And one more thing about localization as well, because uh, mm -hmm. I take I took a look at different countries, especially uh, Russian localization, and the quality is very poor. Uh, so try to focus on localization, not only um, use some keywords. Uh, it doesn't work uh, for your conversion rate. It may be work for your indexation, but when you see uh, the uh, the title or subtitle with lots of mistakes, it looks uh, kind of weird. So. I recommend you to work with your localization of metadata. Mm, interesting. Yeah, or just keep it in English, right? Like, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. better to keep it in English, not but not to make a uh, broken Russian uh, <laughs> because <laughs> right. it looks strange, really strange. Right, right. What about the title and subtitle? How does that look for uh, in Russian? It's just uh, keywords, just oh, keywords okay. with, uh, yeah, so it like, doesn't do have a. Uh, uh, idea some I, I don't know how to I can't understand what what this app is about but uh, it looks really weird and I I'm not going to download this app because I see that developer just uh, take some keywords and mm -hmm. he and maybe the uh, the quality of the app will be the same as the title and subtitle so I will not Great. download this app Rudy asks I actually missed this question so does the keywords, whether keywords not present in the US listing, but MX listing will rank in the US, specifically the title. So if I'm not using the keywords in the US, okay, let me rephrase. If the keywords, if my title in the Spanish Mexico localization will rank if I'm not using them in the US localization. So that was Rudy's question. Dave, you have any insight on this? Oh, so it's 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 hard for me to understand the question. So, uh, if you want to, uh, he means that if he um, targeting only Mexico, and he can use the English. Well, he's, he's saying the the US MX trick. You know what we were talking about before with this app, where we the, he has in he has Spanish in the Mexican localization. Is it does it still work? When I put a completely different keywords in the title and MX, will it rank in the US? Yeah, yeah, it works, of course. Yeah. It, works it still works. And, really. Yeah, it still works um, yeah. perfectly. Yeah. And oops. <laughs> so, right here, the title, subtitle, if you had this in English and you're not using it in the Spanish Mexico, in, in the US localization, it still works. I'm still able to rank for some terms that are only in the keyword field, but I'm not, obviously, I don't duplicate whatever's in the keyword field in Spanish Mexico in the US and that still gets ranked too. Mm -hmm. But I use a lot lower competition keywords in that localization. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's get into the app itself really quick. So, so I, I wanna, uh, sorry, Steve, mm -hmm. I wanna say some few words about screenshot. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. please, now, I, I forgot to say now, that to you. Yeah, now they're not informative at, at, at all, especially in mm -hmm. uh, Russian, I see the word, one, only one word, at, and this word uh, doesn't tell me anything about the app. Yeah. So I can understand uh, from the interface in mockups what this app is about, but it's better to use a, a user uh, unique cell propositions, uh, CTAs, call to actions to highlight your strengths. So there are a lot of apps uh, 
uh, for uh, finances, uh, but uh, you should uh, highlight your strengths. Uh, so make uh, the conversion rate higher and make your users download your app. So yeah. please work on your screenshot. It's very important thing. Agreed. Like it's simple means nothing to anybody. So yeah. regurgitate what the app does. You know, what I always recommend is whatever the keyword you're trying to really target on, whether it's money tracker or budget, you know, whatever that keyword is, then have that as that main first one, simple budget tracker, second or third screenshots, three, third screen, three screenshots, the first three screenshots yeah. are the most important. Definitely have some type of social proof in there. And people tend to like collaborate with others. Maybe that's the big selling point so make sure you have this in one of the screenshots but this is not very good at all yeah so, sure yeah recurring transactions you know like people tend to do a good job in the the description but nobody's reading that description so make sure you have it into your screenshots as well great point okay okay cool uh, let's go to to the app, go to the app itself really quick and i'm gonna pull this up and then and then this is our my notes for today's show. <laughs> All right, cool. A lot of stuff. All right, let's see. Money tracker. Here we go. Login. Oh, I like the login. Looks cool. Yeah, Sports it's great that you can use uh, any social network, Google, Apple ID, and everything. It's it's really valuable. Oh, okay. I like this. I kind of like this. I can explore these features. And then I have to log in to get going. Let's see if it's my Facebook will work. But I want to mention that there was no onboarding in Russian language. So that's why I just opened the app and nothing uh, to understand, only some, some numbers, some words. And that was very hard for me to, to understand what is this app about and how to use it. And I still don't know how to use this app. So <laughs> that's why it was really difficult for me without mm. onboarding this is loading pretty slowly All yeah right. that's that was a problem too Gotham. Yeah. i don't know if i said can you review my app yes i can so if you want us to take a look at your app just go to appmasters.com slash audit appmasters.com slash audit and we have a bit of a wait but that's coming down soon so hopefully you won't have to wait that long cool all right yo you gotta fix this other than that i'm good leaving because that's what most people would do all right august yeah. i'm sorry i gotta treat you like everything else look at the previous videos we have a lot of content on how to optimize it i talked about it previously welcome flow main page but your app is taking way too long and we're running out of time and that's what most people would do if your app took that long to load right david yes try firstly work on your app make it really nice mm -hmm. really interesting and after that go and do so then bring your ua channels and traffic so that's how it works so yeah the quality well, is very very important all right one of the things i want to talk about we'll end with this before we look that last app so david here here's my app on check aso and as you can see obviously i know what i'm talking about when it comes to aso like the index is pretty high right yeah <laughs> but this is back to i think it was al sandy's question about like hey can i really make it work so even for me, where I know the ASO is very solid, and this is what our YouTube series will get into, is how do you really jumpstart it? It's doing pretty well from a ASO index, so I've done a good job of optimizing my app, but the search visibility is very low. So what is the recommendation you have for, for me? Is it running paid marketing? What should I be doing if I feel like, all right, I'm going after lower competition keywords in the title and the subtitle, but I'm still not able to get any type of visibility? So first of all, uh, the vis visibility is uh, about your indexation. So yeah, okay. if you have a low visibility, so try to work on your indexation, your text metadata, because ASO index uh, only show the basic things. For example, how, how much characters do you use in your metadata? How, how much screenshots or, or something like that? And uh, visibility index is more about uh, keywords and text metadata. So uh, you should uh, you should go and it make different iteration with your text metadata. Try to test different keywords. Try to test different different hacks and strategies. So uh, that can give you more impact because it's not enough to make only one iteration 
and right. hope that you will get all the installs from Apple Apps or Google Play. You should test everything every day and different times. So it's very hard, yeah, because lots of people are doing ASO nowadays and the competitiveness mm -hmm. is very, very high. So that's why you should every day try to find something new, some new things, some new hacks to, to work with. And also read interesting blogs, uh, get new information, uh, especially from our blog. <laughs> Yeah, so. I like it. I'll link it up. Yeah, I have tried. So I went after sleep sounds. I'm trying to after go after background noise and then some less competitive keywords. And so I am trying that. But I do feel like you correct me if I'm not wrong, David, but I feel like you almost need a little bit. Maybe it's search ads. Maybe it's Facebook ads. But you need to invest a little bit to jumpstart it. And ASO is part of the equation. But if you're completely relying on it, it's not 100% of the equation. And so you kind of have to push it a little bit. Yeah, of course, because ASO is only the part of all marketing strategies. So yeah. uh, you should uh, also use, because there are a lot of apps that have a huge budgets, uh, they pay for user acquisition. So as we know, their global uh, downloads affect your ranking. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if your download from organic or from the user acquisition if you have lots of download then you will rank higher than other apps so the aso is not the only thing that can make you rank higher than your competitors and on the reverse side like i have a, a couple of different big clients that haven't done any aso in the past and it's been hard for us to rank for these keywords because the historical data of you know, Apple associating this particular keyword, this particular app, it wasn't like, hey, just add it to the title and, you know, do all these tricks. That didn't help at all, right? It did help a little bit. It, didn't, it went from like 100 to 67 for our keyword rankings. But at the same time, like ASO is important, but it's an important piece of the puzzle, not the only piece of the puzzle is what I want to make sure we understand yeah. too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. All right. David, we're, this is just for fun because round two goes to you as well. You got Alex. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, He's Steve. Mad at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. like, David pronounces my name so much better than Steve does and then Dan. <laughs> and so, all right, we'll do this. This is the exhibition one. I owe you a beer. What's your, oh, you don't even drink. So do you even drink the, I drink the 0 0.0s. Do you drink that? Yeah. No alcohol? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll do that. That's good. You and I, we'll, we'll be good friends because we drink the non-alcoholic beers. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll go in the last round just for kicks. All right, I'll go first, David, yeah. because I've been losing. Batman <laughs> is afraid of bats. Spider-Man is afraid of spiders. Now I know why they call me a ladies' man. <laughs> Boom! All right. I think that that was the best joke for today. <laughs> I thought. See, I tried to save my last one, for, my good one for last. Didn't really help out. All right, Dave, what's yours? Uh, well, um, I'm so good at sleeping. I can do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> I like it. I like how yeah. there's no questions for yours. It's just like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what guys the august your app is still loading <laughs> like it's nothing it's not doing anything like like the uh, google natural language yeah yeah i don't know what is going on here i could try exiting but yo it's still loading big problem right here i'm connected to the internet okay finally oh, it worked yeah. all right so here you know have the pricing page have some pricing like label again, watch our YouTube. We have talked this, I've said this a billion times. So anyways, we'll, we'll cover it. You guys pay attention, join every week and then you won't miss a thing. Let's go into this last app by last app by Isa. I think it's Isa or Issa. Isa, 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 Isa. Isa. He wrote in our chat in Russian. His name was Isa Aliyev. I think he's Russian speaking guy. Oh, so okay. Isa, yeah. Isa, I like it. All right. Actually a great looking app, right? David, yeah. I was like, whoa, yeah. I love, I love seeing it when it's not like brand new, like no offense to you, August, but I like seeing East, East's, East's app because but it's like, there are still opportunities to work with. So love the screenshots so far. Yeah. All right, David, you kick it off. So let me yeah, start. So, um, take a look at my notes. 
So I think, well, the app uh, related to the giveaways in Instagram, I think it's very popular nowadays because a lot of giveaways are different every day. And yep. um, title is good, maximum characters. And um, we have the Dublin, the comment word. So it you don't need to do that. It doesn't affect anything. That's Use nice. another keyword. Uh, description is quite short, but yeah, we know that um, app, app stores algorithms doesn't index uh, full description, but it's indexed by search engines, for example, by Google. So uh, use also some keywords in your uh, long description in Apple App Store so you can maybe uh, get some more installs from search engines from Google, for example. Um, so um, I also researched the indexation of the app and and I really couldn't uh, find, hardly find any any relevant keyword that the app is not indexed by. So uh, okay. the app, it covers all the relevant index keywords and the positions ranks are not so low. Sometimes uh, they are really high. But as for me, I, I think uh, that it's hard for you to compete with uh, lots of different apps uh, in your field. Uh, you should use also user acquisition, of course, as we mentioned. And mm -hmm. I, some, some things that I want to say uh, for the title, it's better as for me to uh, put uh, the word Instagram in your title. So, for example, fair giveaways for Instagram. They will mm -hmm. affect, uh, firstly, your rankings for keywords uh, which consist the word Instagram. And also we will affect your conversion rate. So users will see the word Instagram in your title because as we, as we know, the uh, in search results, uh, title is much more bigger than subtitle and subtitle sometimes is cut it. So mm -hmm. I think you should use the word Instagram for Instagram in your uh, title. Yeah, and I think yeah, she, he he's using is it he yeah yeah okay. he, he's, he, using I it, think he. he's using it in the the spanish mexico but that's what i would have done too is maybe go english here and then put it instagram whatever that main keyword is might be instagram giveaway instagram comment picker yeah. whatever giveaway picker is what you have here and so if whatever that main keyword is and definitely agree with david putting instagram in the title sometimes in the us you might not be able to get away with it if you can't definitely have it in the spanish mexico which he says using as well yeah great um so that's it for uh text metadata and some words about um graphic assets yeah so, so um Lisa did say i removed uh, instagram from the title because instagram complained about it yeah sometimes oh, they do oh, that. yeah 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 but oh, good job hide it in the spanish yeah. mexico that's what i do it's Hopefully good that you this. try it it's 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 good that you try it yeah yeah uh well uh so about icon it's uh, as for me is quite complicated because uh, you use a, you use a gift box uh, on your icon and it's enough relevant and representative uh, but uh, you also um, you also use uh, uh, small elements uh, like boxes uh, comments and something like that inside this box mm. and uh, I think that is too complicated I recommend you make more simple relevant uh, icon uh maybe using uh colors which are related to instagram because uh, uh, the icon is the most important thing because sometimes people don't see your screenshots uh while um from when you when you get the installs from explore traffic from different uh compilation similar apps uh uh, they don't see your screenshots, so they see only your icon. And I think that would, will be great to use the Instagram colors in your icon. Uh, as for screenshot, uh, great social proof. Uh, it's mm -hmm. really great. Uh, best speaker uh, in 2021. We can see if you scroll a little bit. Uh, Sorry, I was looking yeah. at the actual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the best picker 2021, but it would be great if you can uh, point the source that admitted your app as the best in its niche because um, everybody can write that he's the best of the best in its niche, but it will be better for your conver conversion to point the source, yeah, that admitted mm -hmm. you as a best app. So also uh, now you just telling uh, the user 
how to work with that. Load all comments, just tap your post, see comments that, but it's better to use call to action uh, to highlight your strengths, not only telling how to work with that. So I think you should work with that, uh, especially uh, you have a video preview so which shows how to work with that. So you don't need to tell it on your screenshot in your captions. And, and one more thing about video, it's uh, kind of strange, uh, very fast, and it's hardly to understand something. And I recommend you please avoid uh, animation with fireworks. <laughs> it looks really weird. Uh, so I think you should yeah, yeah. make your video more simple, more catchy, show your strength and... Um, uh, I think that's yeah, it. It's a, for... It would be interesting to see if if you if you're if he has tested video versus non-video because sometimes video ends up hurting. Like this is really good. The other thing that I noticed too was, and I'm gonna pull it all up and check ASO right here was, I don't I don't know if the title is completely optimized for the main search high search traffic keyword. So I'm gonna do this real quick, but I threw in a few different keywords in here: giveaway picker, giveaway picker, name picker. I was trying to find like giveaway picker seems to be the big keyword. So I said like, am I saying this right? Say it Isa, again, Isa, Isa, Isa. Isa. Oh, okay, Isa. <laughs> the, the main, if the main keyword is giveaway, or I don't know what the main keyword is that you're going after, but it seems like it's giveaway picker. And I would try to have that in your actual title versus your your title. And here I'll pull it up again. What your current title is is just giveaway comment picker. Like try to put unless comment picker is a good keyword, I would try to put rent like giveaway picker together rather than so further apart. I don't know. That's just yeah. What do you think, David? I think um, it's a great way to try. Yeah, of course. And also you should has different variations because sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work it right it, there is no one rule that will tell you how to do optimization and get <laughs> higher strength so you should test everything all right let's that's, try that's the picture. work of aso exactly i like it okay let me let me try this comment picker there do, do, do. giveaway picker giveaway picker giveaway picker for instagram really good keyword Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so comment, I don't see comment picker here. Right here, 23. So you're number four for comment picker, but it's 23. Instagram giveaway picker, number four. But you're number five for giveaway picker, so I might try to put them together if I can. Yeah. That's my, that's my analysis. All right, let's get into the app. Yeah. Lisa. Okay, got it. See, I didn't think Lisa. about it, though. Great. Lisa. Great. Great. <laughs> All right, Isa. Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> Let's make you some money. All right, <laughs> so I saw also that the app has in-app, so you can also try to make them promote it. So don't forget about this. Yeah. I don't, yeah, where is the paid stuff? Link, click here, insert link to post. So I guess here, let me try to go on Instagram. Let's see. Hashtag giveaway. Right, probably that's the thing. So let me try to find one. Give no, away. you you can you can take any post and just copy. You can take. Yeah, I need the link though. Yeah, link and it was hard to it it was not hard to uh, understand how to use it. You should log into your Instagram account. That See, was well, that's a bad user experience. Yeah. So. So like you told me to paste the link and then after I pasted it, you told me to have to log in. So make me log in then first. <laughs> Let me see. I don't remember all my passwords. <laughs> me too. So that's why I uh, didn't log in yesterday. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't, I don't remember. All right, let me look at it. <laughs> All right. I don't know what my pass. How come I can't just log in with my, like, go connected with Instagram type of thing? Yeah, I think there is a 
accessibility to make a connection between the app and Instagram account because uh, it's very it's very hard every time to to log in and some some people don't remember their password of Instagram especially me and you Steve also yes <laughs> so it's better to maybe figure out how to use it without without logging every time so and i think the the user interface is is very simple and there is no onboarding um the same thing as the previous app there there is no onboarding the only thing i saw that uh near uh, the search bar there is a i button and if you click it yeah. you will see uh, the video that shows uh, how to copy the link in instagram account it would be great that you can um you can make uh you can make a onboarding process with videos maybe or with text and tell everything how to work with app and what is your strengths and everything about oh, that gosh okay i cannot log in for the life of me so i apologize i've been trying that's why been trying to hide myself in my screen but i can't find out so I, unfortunately isa i can't log in but yes here's the video i think what's missing is i don't know how you're making money so i guess i can look in the app stores and see if the if there is a subscription or some yeah. type of payment one giveaway so you i guess it's charging by giveaways how many giveaways i can get but unfortunately i just can't load any comments so I apologize. So yeah, I had the same same problem yesterday, and yeah. sorry, but uh, I think there are lots of opportunities to work with the user interface, ex user Great. experience, because I think there you can make it uh, make the design more more nice and more interesting, because uh, now it's a little bit poor uh, as for me. So yeah. And then Joe, I know you probably saw it, but just for those who are watching or listening, Joe made a similar comment about the app icon. I try, I try to put much more focus on a message or chat icon rather than a gift. And then, so I'll let, and Joe, I, thank you for the feedback because I wanted your input yeah. there too. And then Issa says, unfortunately, there's no way to make the login easier. So, all right. Yeah, oh, maybe you should uh, make it more, um, maybe tell some stories so it, while the onboarding process you can tell that uh if you want to to take a giveaway uh yeah. you should log in because when uh, when i go to instagram account copy the link and paste i want to make it work this uh at right that way, way. and yes. then i see the the message that then i that i should uh, log in and yeah. it's uh it's kind of strange. Yeah, and then that pricing page, which I really want to see, Isa, it's it's not there. And I, I wish I could give you some feedback on that because I think that's where it would do. The, definitely have some type of welcome flow where you get me to log in right away because this is disappointing for me. And fortunately, like, I'm like, oh, I'd rather be stuck with not being able to log in versus having the link ready to go and not being able to log in. I think it's just a bad user experience. At least I blame it on myself. This one, I feel like, oh man i wish i'd known because then i could log in man i've tried all these different passwords too and still nothing anyways <laughs> david anything you want to add before we say goodbye anything i might have missed oh no i think that's it for the app i like the way uh isa is doing his aso his strategy but you should also not forget about your app and your graphic assets so there is opportunities to grow your app yeah agree that's it all right well guess what david thank you for giving me the extra time because i finally figured out my password oh. all right so did say none of these are giveaways i've never done a giveaway i don't know what so i guess i'd have to be logging to my post but here i put that one load comments let's try that finally got to log in so once i logged in it was doing that okay cool pick from authors i don't know what that meant Friends from authors. No, I don't know. To, I don't know but, what that means. Well, let's go back to this. What is? She, what did she say? Uh, factor not. We're so excited to host this giveaway. Maybe uh, that means uh, from people who leave the comments. Follow factor notes. So on Instagram, comment the answer, which is tag at least two friends. Okay. 
friends mentioned count. Okay. Mm. Oh, two. All right. Number of winners, one. I don't know what the pick from authors means. I, I think that means that you the app will pick from from people who leave the comment, maybe author of the comment. Okay. I guess. Maybe. maybe. Let's I don't know. Let's try that. And then two friends. I like the only thing I didn't this didn't feel like an input. It felt like it was just I yeah. didn't touch it. So make that look like an input too. All right. Uh right. Let's let's see if we can pick a winner. Super slow. <laughs> it's Friday, so yeah. Oh, here we see the we paywall. See Save your time doing it. Ah, he said, like, just put like you know, load faster or something else. Save your time doing it smart. Doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. So now he's hitting me with an in-app purchase to pick the random winner. I didn't know that. Mm. I think you can show this earlier too. I think it'll increase it. It felt like I felt kind of sneaky to me. I did all this work and now you're making me pay. If I'd known that from the very start, I might have just already paid as well. So I'm going to leave that and not end up paying. But, yeah, right. you should work on user to work. experience. After all that time, David, I finally got to work. <laughs> and then Will says you should try Drashling. I do use one password. I don't know why I was working, but this is my extra phone for all these app audits. So once again, guys, if you do guys want to get your app audited from us, seen some really good results. Rudy, who is in the comments and also a good friend of mine, we're going to share some of his case studies. He emailed me and said he saw a 65% increase in conversions by following some of the content we've been sharing online. And so really good stuff, Rudy. Super excited to have you back on and share those. So appmasters.com slash audit. The tool, if you guys want to check them out, really, really awesome stuff. I've got a product overview video coming out soon is I'll put this check up ASO. Check ASO.io and then check out their blog for all this stuff. I'm going to check it out right now for the in-app purchases because that's a question I get a lot from a lot of my clients because you know why, David, they're like, why does this show up? Why does my competitors show up for their, their in-app purchases? And I wanted to yeah. show up. And so I'll find uh, that blog post on here. here. No, no, no. You pass it. On right how to, yeah. 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 So here it is. The advanced ASO. So I will and we make have sure. some more, some more blog posts. So you, you can just search and try to find something. I don't remember exactly. So which article is, uh, is about in-apps and this, this isn't about in-apps. Sure. Yeah. All right, David, if the audience wants to follow up and say, thank you for coming on or yeah, say thank you for coming on. I don't know what else you want to say. Or great dad jokes. I hope you really did a great job. Where else do you want to send them besides check ASO.io? So I want one more joke for the end. Uh, right. If you don't mind, I, 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 I don't I have any more, but yes, take it away, brother. Um, what do lazy farmers grow? What do lazy farmers grow? No Couch idea. potatoes. Couch potatoes. <laughs> I love it. Look at you. I mean, you're just rubbing it in now. Now it's just like twist the knife, twist the knife. That's all you're doing. <laughs> the website, once again, is check ASO. Link, I will link. It's already in the description, but check ASO.io. Check ASO.io. Check them out. David, thank you so much for coming on and doing this. Thank you so much, Steve. It was it was funny. It was interesting. So I hope we will I will see you soon again. So everybody, thank you for being here with us today. So have a good, great day, great weekends. Goodbye. Next week, we're going to have a friend of mine who runs UA at EA, and she's going to talk about Gina Kwong. She's going to talk about you know some of the latest 14.5 changes and all about Facebook ads, guys. And so we talked about it a little bit. It is so a piece of the puzzle, the UA side, and she knows all about Facebook ads and Facebook AAA as well. So stay tuned next week for all that. And if you got some Facebook ads question, maybe fill out that form or just email me, and maybe we can audit your Facebook ads as well. All right, cool. So thank you guys for all the great comments. Alcides, the great Street Joe, Rudy as well, Celtic. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend, David. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank I you. Will see you guys next <laughs> week.